How's it going guys, it's Jason here, in today's video I'm excited, I just completed the set of the Funko Cross Futura Star Wars Pop Vinyls, there's five in the set of the small ones, they released also two 10 inch Boba Fetts, I don't have those ones in this video, but completed the five uh, of the smaller pops, also going to look at this Kylo Ren light up uh, pop which looks awesome, uh, Darth Vader is going to come out as well which I definitely want to pick up so we'll look at that later in the video, but these pops, uh, so these are designed, uh, the artwork on these pops is designed by Futura, the infamous graffiti artist, uh, came up with unique uh, custom designs for each of these pops, they're all different, so we're going to have a closer look at them in this video. So if you're a fan of these Funko Pops, don't forget to hit that like button and let's jump straight into it. All right, so let's kick it off with Darth Vader, my favorite character from Star Wars. I'll just show you the box quickly. There's the front and the side. The back's got a write-up about this uh, pop and the series. So um, Futura is the iconic uh, graffiti artist and he's a passionate Star Wars fan. Does If you go onto his Instagram page, uh, he does a lot of Star Wars influenced artwork. Um, so he's he's done the design of this. It's a standard Funko Pop, but he's he's done the artwork to it that's been printed on the uh, figure. And this probably gives you the best look of the design. So it's a uh, it's a matte black uh, pop with um, glossy eyes, which I can show you. It's got like glossy black eyes. And then um, symbols, circular symbols that are printed all around the figure. Uh, and um, it also has like red and white dots scattered around the figure. So it's got a really unique um, design and, and comes off looking really awesome. So there's the pop there. As you can see, there's the circular symbols around the figure and also the red and white dots. Um, some of them aren't circular, they're more oval, if you can see there, because of just the way that they've been printed onto the figure. You can see some more there. The pop looks really impressive, and you can see the glossy, so it's a matte black finish, which looks really cool with like the grey symbol, circular symbols printed all over the figure. And then the eyes are like a glossy black, which really make the eyes pop, so really happy with that one. Next up, we've got a fan favourite, which is Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett also has the, uh, so I'll show you the box here, there's the side, there's the back with the same write-up about uh, Futura, and there's the design here, so it's like got a, um, I'd say it's like a pixelated camo um, finish, similar to his colour scheme, uh, with grey, like the, the paint's been chipped off, so again, looks... Looks really cool. And then he's got his signature uh, circular pattern throughout the figure. Uh, the gun is solid um, matte black as well as the face visor, uh, which is uh, shiny black. So there's the pop there. And you can see on the front, so I don't know if you can make out, but the red circles or the dots on the top of the helmet are circular, but because of how the print was done, and I don't think this is my my pop's the only one that does this, but a lot of I've seen a lot of others online. These circles seem to be more oval, and it's just how the it's been printed, stretched. But the visor's uh, glossy black, which looks cool. The gun is a matte black, and the uh, pattern runs all the way down the body, including these circular dots, and and the pixelated. Uh, under paint job so that's a really cool design that's probably my second favorite with the Darth Vader one being favorite I've also got the so the Jawa uh, pop this is a really cool one um, I'll show you so the the backs the same same right up but the finish here is really cool so it's got like a camo again it's got a camo um, pattern with greens brown and tan uh, under it and then on top of it there's like a gray fish wire netting finish which looks really cool again the um the weapon is matte black uh the mask or the wrapping oh uh, that's more of a glossy finish 
The eyes are yellow, which make them really pop. But I really like, and you can see just on the outfit that that fish wire really uh, looks cool over the um, camo finish. There's a good shot of it there. So I really like the design of this um, Jawa pop. Uh, Futuro did a really good job on that one. Uh, and here we've got the duo R2-D2 and C-3PO. First up, I'll do the R2-D2. Uh, and this one looks awesome. It's got... Um, so it's it's like a black and white pattern, crisscross pattern made of triangles. Which looks really cool. Uh, it comes with... And, and then you can see the circular patterns that were uh, previously done on the... Um, Darth Vader one, but they stand out a bit more here with um, blue and red circular patterns. So when we go to the figure here, they're not as noticeable. The The figure really pops, uh, really the colors really stand out with the black and white um, cross pattern. The uh, solid black eye really stands out as well. And there you can see one of the circular patterns there's some more on the side here, like just there you can see the blue one and then down by the foot there's a blue part of a blue and a red one. So that one's pretty cool. And then we've got C-3PO, which this one looks cool. This is a very unique one uh, here. It's got a marble finish underneath, which looks really cool because um, C-3PO is just usually a solid metallic like gold color. So um, Futura has given him a like a marble finish, which looks really cool. It's got scratches through it as well. And then halfway through on a uh, side profile, the right side of the pop has all dots in it. And that's done really effectively as well. It's just scattered. So it's not evenly done uh, like the Boba Fett circular uh, pattern. But... Um, Looks really cool. I love the marble finish. Again, the eyes are solid black, which makes them really stand out. But this marble finish looks really nice. So it's also got like a glossy paint job, which makes it more look like a marble tile finish. And then you've got the random scatter of those brown dots, which uh, is very unique. It's a very unique style. It looks very awesome. And, and I think... All the designs really complement each other. They're all unique in their own way. So um, really happy with this set. And finally, I just wanted to have a look at this Kylo Ren lights and sound pop vinyl that just came out. Uh, as I mentioned, the Darth Vader one's coming out soon, which I definitely want to pick up. But there's the box. So let's have a look at the figure out of the box. So here we have the Kylo Ren light and sound Funko Pop. It's a bobblehead, like all the Star Wars pops. And the design looks really cool. It has the red uh, cracks through the helmet. Uh, the um, His cape is all scarred, uh, got all cuts through it. So it's uh, battle damaged. I love the Star Wars base custom bases that they put on their pops. And it's got the light up and sound feature. So you do that by hitting the top. So I'll just do that now just to show you. So that is crazy. I'll just do it again. That's cool. It's got different sounds. That's very nice. And I like how it lights up. The back looks... So there's the back as well, which is cool. But I like how it's got different um, sounds. It's got a few there. All right, so that is the Kylo Ren light and sound Funko Pop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Let us know in the comments. Did you pick up any of these pops or um, are you a fan of any of the designs? Which ones are your favorites? I look forward to hearing your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe. I've got more Funko Pop vinyl videos on my channel and I'll speak to you soon. See ya.